I think I broke my TV. So I think I bricked my Hisense TV here. You can see that it will go to the start screen and then pretty soon it just crashes and turns off again. Sometimes you get these Google orbs. Boom, it's off. Tried everything. I tried all the YouTube stuff. Unplug it for a minute, plug it back in. Hold down the power button on the remote after you plug it back in. Nothing works. No YouTube videos, nothing. What are the symptoms? Let's go through them real quick. What happened was, this TV's about a year and a half old, started getting a bunch of apps on there and I was getting a message from the system to uninstall some apps to make some room. So I went in there to do that. Some of the apps you cannot install. You can only uninstall the updates for those applications. So I set about making room. One of the applications was Voodoo, the Voodoo streaming app. We don't use that. It came with the TV. I had to uninstall the updates and I was going to disable the app and the software crashed. Next thing that happened was when I tried to turn the TV back on, it went to a Android boot screen that gave me a menu that gave me a couple of options. One option was to try to boot again. The other option was a factory reset. I knew the factory reset would erase all my passwords, internet, everything. So I tried the restart. The restart didn't work. My next step was that I came back up and got the menu a second time. So this time I was going to go for broke and try the factory reset because that was better than nothing. So I tried that. The thing started doing its thing like this again and shut off and it's not worked since. I've tried every iteration of it and now it was just broke. It was time to call customer service. So that's what I did. There is nothing on their website. There was one article that has been published, republished over in several forums that talks about getting a firmware download using a USB driver. Since this TV is a smart TV and has USB ports, you might be able to fix it that way. But that article is no longer valid. You cannot get those firmware updates. So what you have to do is call Hisense Customer Support and ask them for your firmware upgrade. Now, of course, they're gonna go through the dummy stuff like, oh, did you unplug it and plug it back in? Did you try turning it off and turning it back on? And once you get that, they will go ahead and escalate you to tier two. Make sure you tell them, I would like to get a firmware update if it's available, along with the instructions for my TV on how to install it. Now, we're gonna go through that process We've got the file, we're gonna unzip it, put it on a USB flash drive. It doesn't have to be bootable or anything. And we're gonna put it in the top USB port of the TV, like they said, and then use our power button to turn it on after we've unplugged and reset when we shut the video off here and go to the computer. Let's see if it works, cause you're gonna be with me, fix or fail. Let's go. Okay, so we're at our computer now, and we have an email here from tier two tech support that they sent with instructions and our firmware update. So we've got a list of instructions here. I'm gonna put these in the comments below in a text file so that you guys can download them. I'm gonna click on my link here to go and download my file. And they're gonna ask for a verification code. I'm gonna ask them to send it. Now, I'm going to go back to the email from them to get the verification code. Here it is right here. It says Microsoft Notifications. Click on that. Now you're not seeing my mouse, but what I'm doing is just double clicking on the number here. Then I'm right clicking to do a copy. And then I'm going to go back, paste that verification in here. Right click and paste. There it is. Verify me. And here's the file I want. 
just going to go up here to download and click on that. And now down here in the corner, if you're using Chrome like I am, you get this download link here. And we can see it's a pretty good size file. It's over a gig. See down here in the corner of this icon when it stops circling. There we go. Now we've got our file. Let's go ahead and click on this little arrow and we'll show it in our folder. And this is going to be in our downloads directory right here. This is the file. We're going to go ahead and extract all on the menu here. I'm going to right click in a menu and choose extract all because we don't need it as a zip file. Now it gave us another folder here. We're going to double click that to open it. And here it is. It's a PKG file. This is what you want to copy to your USB drive. Okay, now at this point, I'm just going to right click on that. I don't know whether you can see this or not. I'm going to copy this file. And then I'm going to look over here for my USB drive. In this case, it's drive F. If you don't see it, make sure you have your drive plugged in. There's lots of ways on how to prepare these drives. It's got to have FAT32 on it. They're usually ready to go right from the store if you have to go and buy one. Now that I'm on the drive, I'm going to right click in the open area here and just paste that file over here. And it's going to go about the process of copying it over. There we go. All done. It's on the USB drive. And now I'm going to go down to my system tray. I'm going to click on this up arrow if I don't already see all my devices. And I'm going to click up here where it has right click on this icon to eject my USB drive. And now it's safe to remove my drive. And we'll pick back up at the TV. I'll see you there. Okay, so we got our USB all set up. There's only one file on there, and that is the file to update our firmware. And we're going to try and do the rest of it. The next step is to plug in the TV. Then we're going to turn it on and hit the power on the remote until we see it start up with the updating software. Let's plug it in. We've got a red light right down under here. Let's see if we fix it. Push the power button and hold it. USB update, I'm letting go of the button now and we'll see if it updates. Will we unbrick our TV? Okay, it did an update and then an installing. Now it's supposed to restart by itself. Cross your fingers.
Well, there you go. It looks like this time it's going to work. Many kudos to the folks over at Hisense and the guys online that have talked about this. It worked just the way it was supposed to. Now, one caveat here, though, is you're going to need a good size USB thumb drive. It's going to have to hold about a gig and a half, I would say, a couple of gigs. I used a 32 gig because I wasn't messing around. But we're going to go through the setup here. We'll be right back. Well, that's it. Looks like it's as good as new, and we're going to call this a fix. Now, if you appreciated this content, please remember to drop us a super thanks in the comments below. And we'd sure appreciate it because it helps with our channel. Now, if you are coming up on your weekend, make it a good one and take care, everybody.